There are some people who are just toxic in the way that they discuss things. If they want to have any sort of a debate, and you disagree with them even in the slightest, they just go off the deep end. Prince of Queens is someone I had a falling out with recently. And I, I just... I can't understand how he can think that the way that he goes about things is beneficial to him. I mean, his videos will sometimes bring up uh, some good points. You know, I, I've recommended his videos before. But the attitude he has in his videos is the attitude that he puts out to everyone. In person, in just, just everywhere. Well, I and they don't and I because I it's his attitude about everything. Recently in Twitter, he was uh, he uh, there was a uh, got that funk. Myself and him were having a discussion, and he started saying how corrupt Obama is, and was making these really grandiose declarations about Obama. Which, you know, they may be true, or they may not be, but I just ask for some proof. And so he goes, well, will you, will you look at a, a video from someone you don't like? And I said, well, maybe. Well, then you don't deserve the information. Okay, dude. I said, why do you have to be so toxic in the, in the way that you, you, why do you have to be so caustic in the way that you, 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 anyone who slightly disagrees and you just jump all over them? I said, maybe. His immediate reaction to when I told him that he's being caustic for saying, you don't deserve the information, is that, oh, I'm trying to start a fight. I'm like, no, I'm not trying to start a fight. I'm just saying, I'm just asking, why do you have to be so caustic? I said, maybe. So he sent, sends me this link to Andrew Breitbart going on. It was a 2011 video of Andrew Breitbart going off on some tangent. And, you know, about a half hour video. And yeah, it, some of it was kind of entertaining. Um... He went into a number of things, and I'm just like, okay. Um, I said, I, I, after I watched the video, I said, well, I watched the video, and I, I don't see where this was proof of anything. He said it all right there. You're just not listening. I said, that's not proof of anything. Go somewhat, uh, Andrew Breitbart going off on a tangent isn't anything. That's, that's, that doesn't prove anything. We, we were looking for proof. That is proof. Andrew Breitbart is a well-renowned journalist. I took the time to give you the information. You should feel privileged that I gave you this information, but you just don't like the information. Okay, Prince of Queens. O okay. Um, no, that's, that's, that's not proof. I'm going to mute you. Go ahead, buddy. Go right ahead. So he did. And that was it. I'm just reminded of how Prince of Queens, there's, there's, a, uh, there's a Facebook group that I'm part of. Uh, well, I'm, I'm part of the, I, I've been involved in the Radical Fairies since the mid-90s. And there's a, there's a Facebook group oriented towards it in, for Seattle. And Prince of Queens uh, had started going off on a ta an anti-feminist tangent on their, you know, on their site, on their, on their page. And someone that I dated for two years is a moderator there, and uh, they kicked him off. Um, they kicked Prince of Queens off because he went on this tangent. They're just censorship happy, and they're just, and he goes off like that. He's, he's you know, went off about it before, and I'm just like, dude, if you, if you treat people the way that you treat me or to treat anyone who has a slightly different opinion, it's no wonder why they kicked you off. What's wrong with you, man? And let me be clear, okay? The Radical Fairies have had a number of feminist things interjected into the group. Okay? It has changed a bit. 
But in general, I just ignore that and, and enjoy the group for what it is. I enjoy the gatherings they have. I, I you know, I try to take make the best of, of what they are. That's what you do. That's how you operate in real life. You know, it's not it's not a YouTube page. You know, it's it's now in this case it was it was a Facebook group, but that's not the place where you go to hash out your hatred of feminism. It, it's 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 not the place. But to Prince of Queens, everywhere is a place for him to go off on these tangents, and if they don't like it, well, it's it must be them. Any attempt to criticize Prince of Queens, he will say is projection. It's what he does every time. Every time. It's projection. Anything you criticize him in is projection. And it's kind of pathetic. And he just can't seem to see it. Well, I'm... Because they don't... Because I'm... It's like, dude. What... Get off your high horse, man. What is wrong with you? Seriously. He's got some major issues. Again, some of the videos that he makes, he, he, he will often bring up good points. He, he pieces together information in an interesting way. But damn it, what, what the hell is with his personality issues? Oh my fucking God. It's ridiculous. Um, I guess I don't know what more to say. Uh, there, there's someone else who who is rather who gets really caustic in in uh, in comments, and that would be Seb Beach. But at least he doesn't like block and mute you if you disagree with him too much, you know. But man, I, he he keeps he keeps declaring I'm I'm a I'm a Trump supporter. I I I uh, I'm just as bad as Trump. I'm uh, he just makes all these grandiose declarations about me just because I've like disagreed with him on a few things. Or if I say anything that that even that that doesn't just fully agree with the left, he he just jumps all over my case. It's just like, dude. Why do you got Why do you have to be this way? But that's just, I guess, how he is. And when it comes to debating, um, he he's not nearly on the level that Prince of Queens is. So how do you, how do some people think that being toxic towards someone, being really caustic towards someone, is going to get you to go to their side? How, how do you think that? Being, there, there's a, there's virtue in actually being nice to people. You know, it gets people to listen more. But if you're too busy calling someone a piece of shit, yeah, the, people aren't going to listen to that. Why would they? I mean, honestly, seeing the way that he reacted, uh, you don't deserve the information. Andrew Breitbart is is a well-renowned journalist. And in between those things, and then uh, uh, one of his latest videos was basically declaring that ContraPoints is just a giant piece of propaganda. And I and I, I commented on his video, I saying, "Well, anything that is." Uh, someone is taking a lot of time, whether it's a person or a group of people, they're taking a lot of time, effort, resources, money, whatever, to try to get people to see a particular viewpoint could be considered propaganda. That's just what left-wingers think. Okay, dude. I, I mean, he, he's of the opinion that, essentially, if it's... If it's propaganda that he agrees with, it's not propaganda. And if it's propaganda that he disagrees with, well, that's terrible propaganda. That's essentially his viewpoint, you know. Between all those things, it just kind of makes me wonder, hey, you know, am I, am I headed in the wrong direction? I think about him. I think about uh, uh, people like Bering. I think about... Uh, Sargon of Akkad, I think about V, I think about so many others, that it's this assumption that 
pe people on the left are literally crazy and that they will never... I don't know, though. I mean, yeah, then, you, then I got to think about people like uh, uh, Christy Winters and uh, just a number of others on the left who... I, I had I got into a, a Twitter spat with them uh, because I was suggesting that it's a negative thing that Steve Shives uses block lists and will block people for simply being friends with someone that he doesn't like. Um, yeah, just because I said that that's that's kind of a negative thing. Um, and I get get into this argument. Well, we there's no point in having discussions with people who don't find that people literally saying this uh, that people who don't find uh, feminism to be a val to be a great wonderful thing. You know, uh, there's no point in having discussions with people who 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 disagree with it. And I'm thinking that's crazy. So, you know, I, I'm, it's not like I'm going to suddenly move to the left, but again, to the extreme left again, I can't allow myself to head more towards the right, more towards, I shouldn't call it left or right, because it's not really left, right. It's, it's one ideology versus another ideology, whether it's really left or right, those, those terms keep changing. So, but yeah, I can't allow myself to, to tilt more towards the direction of treating people in a toxic way simply because they disagree or they have a viewpoint I don't like, you know. And I've done that. I, since the beginning of the year, there have been a few people I've done that to. And I don't, I don't want to continue that. I don't want to act like Prince of Queens. I don't want to do the same thing, but in a more stuffy sort of manner, like uh, Sargon of Akkad. Because he has the accent and can, you know, say it, say it. He can insult someone in a way that if the person doesn't fully understand, it might sound like a compliment, you know. Um, yeah, I, I don't need to head in those directions. I just need to make sure that I that I remain myself and remain independent. And uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs>